previously on Dark Matter. We all woke up just like you. No memories, no idea who we are, how we got here. The crew of this ship is supposed to be dead. They're definitely not supposed to be diseased cannibal monsters. It's a nasty gash. She has all her memories in her head. She's been having dreams. Dreams she thinks might be memories, except that they're not just hers. Alphanumeric lock code. Which none of us can remember. You ever dream about the code, kid? No. No, but it's still rattling around in your head, isn't it? The Emperor is dead! You will pay for this. Shadows like a rat. Take him. Something's not right. It's happening again. Heart rate spiking. Brainwave activity is off the charts. She's in trouble. There was a bit of a problem with the job. What kind of a problem? The ship was destroyed. Are you kidding me? Wait, wait, is this some kind of a sick joke? To be more precise, we blew it up. You blew it up? You blew the ship up? That's right. I imagine your client's going to be angry. Oh, yeah, I think maybe yeah, just a little. Angry enough to string you up, cut your heart out, and show it to you while it's still beating? Because that's what I'm gonna do. That's a whole lot of hostility coming out of nowhere, given, you know, that I'm the aggrieved party here. You lied to us. No, I never lied. You didn't think it was worth mentioning that the Far Horizon was a plague ship? That this was all about some failed attempts to create an immortality drug? Okay. You know, first of all, neglecting to mention certain details is not the same as lying. I just want to point that out. And, and secondly, if I told you about the virus, you wouldn't have taken the job, so... Sue me. I'm not buying it. What do you mean? If he really wanted us to get the ship, he would have warned us about the virus, so we could have at least gone in prepared. You're saying he wanted us to fail? <laughs> Ferris wants our heads, right? Maybe they offered him something to take us out. Perhaps he thought he could win either way. If we succeed, he gets a salvage. If we're killed, Ferris pays him off. You know what the real problem is? Even if all this is true, he's still the closest thing we have to a friend. What's our supply situation? Bad. Bordering on desperate. We've got enough fuel to reach the outer colonies. There's not much law out there, so we'd probably be safe, but we don't have enough food. We'd have to go back in the stasis pods to even make it that far. After what happened last time, not a chance. And what would we do when we get there? Find some work if we're lucky. If not, Sell the ship. Which is what I've been saying from the start. Thank you very much. You said you'd never do that. Believe me, I don't want to. But I'm starting to think that we may not have a choice. So what's up? Well, technically this is none of my business. Although we are a small group of people forced to live in close quarters, so really it's everyone's business. What are you but... talking about? When Three and I were on the freighter, it was kind of a life or death situation. And sometimes in those moments, people say things and they're not necessarily... You're talking about the fact that Three and I slept together. Okay. So what's the problem? Obviously, you're both adults, and you can do whatever you want. I, I just... I, I found it a little surprising. Look, 
Not that I have to explain myself to you or no, any... No, hey. But, I hey, mean, just shut, <laughs> shut up. I'm not even exactly sure why I did it. I was restless and feeling lonely, and he... He was just there. Okay. Sure. That's it? The thing is, with a guy like that, you know there are never going to be any complications. Right now, I don't have room for complications. So you're saying with someone else, there might be... Complications. Exactly. Yes. Okay. You busy? I'm just going over some fuel consumption numbers, but uh, it can it can wait. Come in. You really think there might be treasure in that vault? Well, until we can figure out a way to get in, there's no way to know for sure. What if there is a way? What are you talking about? Well, I've been checking out some of the equipment in the infirmary. You know how I like to fiddle. Anyway, with the android's help, I think I might be able to adapt some of the medical equipment to work as a kind of mind probe. And whose mind would we be probing? Mine. I've got all your memories in my head, I know it. But they're all jumbled up and they don't make any sense, so if I could just find no, a way... No, listen, this sounds way too dangerous. We'll find another way to get into the vault. It's not just about the money. You said you wanted to change, become better than what you were before. But how can you take a different path if you don't even know how you got there in the first place? If you don't remember, you're just gonna end up making the same mistakes all over again. I don't wanna watch that happen. Are we sure this is right? If she wants to volunteer, let her volunteer. Oh, so now you want to treat her like an adult. Hey, I'm not the one who gave her a vote on how things go around here. Can't have it both ways. So how's this gonna work? She'll experience the hidden memories like a dream. Like she's a passenger inside someone else's body. All she has to do is observe. And remember as much as possible. Will it hurt? It shouldn't. But I feel it necessary to point out that the equipment is not designed to be used this way. I know. I know. We'll be monitoring your vital signs. If anything goes wrong, we'll pull you out. I'm ready. Again. Stop. Not like this. Hmm? Like this. Yes, sir. Always watch your opponent. Do not look at his eyes, but look at his feet, his hips. It will tell you where he's moving. Understand? Hmm? Again. Yo. Why did you hesitate? I won the point. There was no need to strike. What is it you think you're learning here? Swordsmanship father no 
You're learning discipline. You're learning to respect our ways and traditions. When you are emperor and your enemies find you vulnerable, do you think they will hesitate? Brainwave activity is all over the place. Pull her out. <gasps> what happened? You shut it down. Why? Because I don't want you to have a stroke. That's why. Hey, this was a bad idea. was one of your memories. That's what I was experiencing when they pulled me out. I'm sure of it. You were younger, maybe 12 or 13. You were sparring with another boy. You went easy on him. And your father, well, he wasn't very happy. I see. Sorry, I wish I could have seen more, something useful. You need to learn control. I, I don't know how. The memories, they're just random. No. You need to learn to control yourself. Look, you're a smart girl. But you have an undisciplined mind. You need to learn to observe without emotion. It's not so easy. Some of the memories, they're pretty intense. But they're nothing but recordings of past events. They can't be changed. So an emotional reaction serves no purpose. Two, this is five. Go ahead. I want to try again. Please. Are you sure about this? I can handle it this time, now that I know what to expect. Okay. Good luck. Brother. What is this? Where are they taking your things? Where do you think? The ship leaves tonight. What ship? You remember when you made this for me? That time we went to the beach. I couldn't have been more than six or seven years old. I remember. It's funny to think that I kept it all these years. I don't understand. I do. It makes perfect sense. Father's getting old, and it's dangerous to have more than one heir to the throne living in the palace. It gives people ideas. What did he do? Don't play innocent. It's bad enough you've had my son banished off world. Don't make it worse by insulting his intelligence. I've had him banished? Your seal was on the royal proclamation. This was father's doing. He wants people to fear me. He thinks it's the only way I can rule. You have used that excuse for every cruelty you visited on your brother for the last 10 years. Maybe you have yourself convinced, but the rest of us know better. 
brother. Please. Goodbye. My lord, I've been looking for you. Out of my way, Akita-san. I need to speak to our glorious emperor. Maybe you should wait until you're in a better frame of mind. You dare disobey me. I'm not your student anymore. And I'm not afraid of him. As you wish, Denka. already, Father? Having another one of your spells? Why don't you just get it over with? Die already. I know what you did. It wasn't enough. Just to be cruel, you had to do it in my name. You want me to be an emperor like you. But I will never be like you. Do you hear me? You're going to pay for this. You did this. I am the Emperor's beloved wife. And you are his cruel, vindictive son who unjustly banished his own half-brother and who's been seen staggering about the palace drunk, cursing the Emperor's name. Who do you think they're going to believe? My son will be Emperor. And you will be dead. The Emperor is dead! Find the Prince! Arrest him! Hiding in the shadows like a rat. Take him! Spiking. Brainwave activity is off the charts. She's in trouble. Shut it down. Pull her out. Understood. Five, wake up. Five, wake up. Five, can you hear me? What's happening? Evidently, the dream state persists, even without the aid of a mind probe. Five, can you hear me? Five. What about a shot of adrenaline? That should wake her up. It could, but with her brain activity already elevated, it could make matters worse. This is not ordinary REM sleep. For all intents and purposes, her brain is functioning on a conscious level, but the dream elements have replaced normal sensory input. But she knows she's dreaming, right? She should have full memory of everything that happened before she went in. The readings are stabilizing. She's calmed down. Maybe she's learned to control it like she said she would.
guys. Guess who just scored? Dinner's on me tonight. What the hell? Pressure on it to stop the bleeding. Well, we have to get you to a doctor. No, no, no doctors. They, they'd find us. Who? What is this? Remember the guy you picked yesterday? What, the, the guy with the beard? Yeah. Well, that was no ordinary mark. He was. He was connected. We didn't have anything. Just what looked like some weird data storage device. I couldn't even read it. I need some water or something. Um. It wasn't a data storage device, it was, it was some kind of key. And this thing? I was gonna see if I could sell it in the market for a few bars. I think it's worth a lot more than that. They want it back pretty bad. Who's they? Some guys came around asking questions. I mean, someone must have tipped them off because we didn't even see them coming. TJ, where are the others? They're dead. They killed me. We have to get out of here. We have to get on a ship. We don't have any money. It's not enough. It's enough for one. To get as far as Akamon. No, I'm not leaving you. I was in a coffee shop this morning, casing another market. I, I overheard two guys talking. So? We need to get to Cargo Bay 4. Now. It's our only chance. Please tell me this is the last one. It's the last one. Not just saying that, are you? All right. We are out of here. TJ, where are you? Doc. Hold on. Place to hide. They're gonna notice if I bleed all over the freeze dried food. I've got an idea. Are you okay? This isn't looking so good. I'll be fine. Look. I heard the engines kick in a few minutes ago. We're probably already in FTL. So? I I'll go find the crew and I'll come clean. I'll tell them we're here and ask for their help. Are you crazy? They're already underway. They've probably got a schedule to keep. They're not gonna uh, turn around and go back just for a couple of stowaways. Why would they when they could just shove us at an airlock? Do you really think they'd do that? You wanna take a chance they won't? All right. You win. Where are you going? There's got to be a sick bay on this tub somewhere. I'll sneak out, see if I can find some supplies so we can sell you up good. Then we wait it out. OK. Be careful. We're going to be fine.
So, who the hell is Miss Maplethorpe, anyway? Yeah, she was a teacher I had when I was a kid. It's as good a code as any. I know I'll never forget it. She used to hit me on the knuckles with a ruler. What is it? We have a problem. What? Her autonomic functions are receiving diminished input from her hypothalamus. What the hell does that mean? Her organs are shutting down. If we don't find a way to pull her out, she won't make it. Her mind is still functioning but it's receiving and processing only imaginary inputs from the dream scenarios. Her brain is losing contact with her body. Without the brain, the body dies. Precisely. We could put her in stasis. That would keep her alive. I don't think that's a good idea. She's lost in the memory. She's gone too deep. Am I right? It's possible. Then the longer she stays in there, the worse it gets. We have to get her out now or we never will. How? Someone has to go in there and get her. Is that even possible? Effectively, yes. I'll, do, I'll it. do it. No. I'll go. And I'm not arguing. sound where you're going anyway. You can't do this! Sure I can. Barely even breaking a sweat here. Okay, well, what about the rest of your crew? What about them? Maybe they'd object to throwing a girl off the airlock. You don't know the rest of my crew. Wait, wait. I have something. Something valuable. Really? It's a key. I I'm not exactly sure what for, but... I stole it from killed all my friends trying to get it back. So it must be worth something, right? It's hidden somewhere on this ship. You'll never find it without my help. I can live with that. Please! No! No, please! Please! No! Don't do this! Because you'll experience the memories through her perception, they won't seem like your own the way they do for her. You'll feel more like an outside observer. For that reason, I don't think there's any chance of you losing yourself the way she did. It's good to know. Of course, it's just a theory. Thanks. How will we find her? She's got a lifetime of memories crammed inside that head. It's a lot of ground to cover. I can do my best to sync your brain pattern to hers. That should get you close but you'll still have to will yourself in and out of every memory you encounter until you find her. Sounds like a piece of cake. You can do this. You'll find her and you'll bring her back. I know it. Okay. Fire it up. we got away with it. You know, there's only one possible explanation. We're the best. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be dead. It's one of mine. <laughs> there she is. Take a look, boys. We arrived at the station in a shuttle. We left in that. Now that's what I call trading up. <laughs> No one's ever stolen a Galactic Authority destroyer before. This is gonna change everything. You're damn right. 
Now let's go get a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Brothers, welcome back. The general himself wanted to be here to congratulate you, but he had to return to Iraq as Sadr to coordinate our next campaign. <clears throat> A toast to the insurrection. The, the insurrection. insurrection. That's where it got out. Do people know what we did? You kidding? GA won't let this get out. It's too embarrassing. Any news station tries to broadcast this, they'll get shut down before they can finish the report. No. This is way too big. There's no way they can keep this quiet. People everywhere are gonna hear about this, and you know what? They're gonna be inspired. They're gonna realize that the galactic authority isn't invincible. They're gonna open their eyes to the corruption of the corporate system, and they're gonna start fighting back. This is just the beginning. Well said, brother. You bastard! How could you do this? Caleb, what's wrong? Why didn't you tell us? So what's he talking about? See for yourself. It's all over the net. In a stunning escalation of their terror campaign, members of the so-called Procyon insurrection have attacked and destroyed a space station in the height of the sector. The exact death toll is as yet unknown, but it's estimated as many as 10,000 people were on board when the station was bombed. The perpetrators are believed to have escaped on a stolen Galactic Authority destroyer. What? This is, this is a mistake. Commander Tarvis of the Galactic Authority issued this statement earlier today. These so-called rebels have once again shown themselves to be nothing more than depraved thugs with no respect for law, order, or human decency. And I promise everyone here today, and everyone watching in the far-flung corners of the galaxy, they will be brought to justice. I don't understand. They didn't attack that station. There was no bomb. The shuttle you left in the hangar bay was rigged to blow the minute you jumped to FTL in the destroyer. Why? Why, why would you do that? We, we got the ship. We got away. That was the mission. The mission was to make a statement. The mission was to serve notice, and that's exactly what we did. The general would never have agreed to this. Who do you think came up with the plan in the first place? We just murdered 10,000 innocent civilians. Those people sold themselves and their families to the corporations a long time ago. No one who participates in that corrupt and decadent lifestyle can claim innocence. Mona! <laughs> Thought you were made of stronger stuff than that. <sighs> Man up! It has to be a mistake. It has to be. <laughs> God. Enough. That's enough. I'm back. in time. I was about to go make some soup. That sounds great. Oh, Jonesy's still a little lame in her left foreleg. Okay, well, your father will be home tomorrow and he can take a look at it. And it's his birthday coming up, so should we make him something special? Elderberry pie? I thought elderberry pie was your favorite, not his. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Okay. <laughs> elderberry pie it is. Mm. I'll see you in the kitchen when you're done, okay? Okay. What are you doing here? You can 
You see me? Of course I can see you. And I know you're not supposed to be here. Whose memory is this anyway? Well, they call me Titch for what that's worth. But I'm pretty sure it's ones. I see a boy's face in the mirror every morning. It doesn't look all that much like him, but the only other possibility is three, and I kind of doubt he grew up in a place like this. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's nice. It's better than nice. He's got two parents who love him. They've got a farm, animals, food on the table. It's perfect. How long have you been here? I've lost track. It was summer when I came, and it's winter now. Every day I go skating on the pond. You've been on the table less than two hours. Well, I guess time works a little different here. You know, it's not real, right? I thought we'd lost you. I thought you'd forgotten these were only memories. Sometimes I do forget. You have to come back with me. Your body's dying. Your mind's gone, and without it... Well, just put me in stasis. I'll be fine. Why? So you can stay here? It's not even your memory. I saw some of my own memories. No, thanks. No, that much I can understand. Then let me stay. Look, I admit out there in the real world, we've got our problems. Well, maybe that's an understatement. But in here, you've got no control. You're just along for the ride. But that's exactly what I like about it. I don't have to think. I don't have to worry. But it can't last. Because as nice as all this is, there's a storm cloud coming, and you know it. Whoever grew up here didn't wind up on that ship without something happening to them, something bad. Maybe the dad comes home drunk one day and murders the mom. Maybe terrorists show up and set off a bomb. Who knows? But it happened to me, it happened to you, and it'll happen to him. Maybe it all ends badly out there in the real world, too. But then again, maybe not. And here, we can't change anything out there. We can at least try. back. Where is she? Did you find her? <sighs> I thought we'd lost you there. How are you feeling? Uh, okay, I guess. Do you know where you are? Back on the ship. I guess there's no place like home. more of your memories. I know what happened to you. I know where you're from. I already know. You do? I found a royal signet ring among my things. And I did some research. Turns out I was a prince. Heir to the throne of Ishida until I murdered my own father. No. No, you didn't. You didn't kill him. What are you talking about? I was there. I saw it. You found his body, but he was already dead. He was the Empress. She wanted her own son to rule, your half-brother. The Empress. I saw some of what you had to do to get out of there alive, and it wasn't pretty. 
who knows what you had to do to survive after that. But the point is, it wasn't your fault. And now that you know, you can put it behind you, right? You don't have to be that person anymore. Right? I wanted to thank you for coming to get me. You're welcome. You should know one and two also volunteered. Not three. <laughs> you know, it's one of the reasons why I didn't want to come back. I never felt like I knew who to trust out here. I mean, I thought I could trust two, but sometimes she scares me a little. Yeah, join the club. But now at least I know I can trust you. Good night. Good night.